concentration is the number of moles of a substance per unit volume of solution, where a solution is formed when one substance is dissolved in another. And so we can show by example that sodium chloride in its solid form, when placed in water, forms an aqueous solution. We say that that is now aqueous because the sodium chloride has dissolved and therefore is now made up of sodium ions and chlorine ions that are floating in that liquid solution. What that now requires is that we need to be able to calculate the number of moles of substance present even when we don't necessarily have the mass. And so we use something called the concentration, which gives us the ratio of the number of moles of substance per unit volume of solution. And as a result, this would then be measured in moles per cubic decimeter. So a simple example would read as follows. Calculate the concentration of a 250 milliliter solution containing 100 grams of sodium chloride. We would start this by converting the number of grams of sodium chloride into a number of moles, where the number of moles is equal to the mass given 100 over the molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.5. And that tells us that there are actually 1.71 moles of sodium chloride present. And we then can convert that into a concentration by saying our concentration of the sodium chloride solution is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. But just a note on volumes in chemistry, the preferred volume or the preferred unit for volume is cubic decimeters, which is a cube that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. A cubic decimeter is exactly the same as one liter of solution, which is also, as we know, the same as 1,000 milliliters of solution or 1,000 cubic centimeters of solution. So no matter what volume we are given, we would always convert it into cubic decimeters. In this case, we have been given a volume of 250 milliliters, and we say 250 milliliters divided by 1000 to find that it has a volume of 0 0.25 cubic decimeters. And so we can now say that the concentration of the solution is our number of moles of sodium chloride in the total volume of the solution, which is 0 0.25 cubic decimeters, which is therefore a concentration of 6.84 moles per cubic decimeter. What that tells us is that if we were to have one liter or one cubic decimeter of the solution, that would contain 6.84 moles of solution. Clearly, we only have a quarter of a liter, 0.25 cubic decimeters, and therefore only 1.71 moles of solution. It's important to note here that when we dissolve one substance in another, so 100 grams of sodium chloride in another, that does not affect the volume. The reason for that is because that substance will ionize or dissociate and form a part of the solution. It does not increase the volume of the solution. Another follow-on question to this that's quite common is where we are asked to either dilute or to calculate the concentration of a diluted solution. A common question here would read, calculate the concentration of the new solution if it is diluted to 500 milliliters of solution. So what that tells us is that the volume of the solution is taken from 250 milliliters to 500 milliliters, which means that we are adding 250 milliliters of water. Important here that when they use the word diluted, that means that there is no further sodium chloride added. We are only increasing the volume of the solution. Now, since there is no sodium chloride added, we can say that the initial number of moles of sodium chloride must be equal to the final number of moles, which means that the initial concentration multiplied by the initial volume must be equal, therefore, to the final concentration multiplied by the final volume because using this formula over here, the concentration is equal to number of moles over volume and therefore the number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. So our initial concentration we've just worked out was 6.84 moles per cubic decimeter. The initial volume in cubic decimeter was 0 0.25. 
The final concentration is our unknown and the final volume we've been told it's been diluted to 500 milliliters, so 0.5 cubic decimeters, which therefore tells us that the final concentration of this new diluted solution is 3.42 moles per cubic decimeter, which should make sense to us because we have taken the same number of moles of sodium chloride and we've doubled the volume, so therefore we should halve the concentration of the solution. So now using the formula concentration is equal to the number of moles over the volume, we can always calculate either the number of moles when we know the concentration and volume of a solution, or we can calculate the concentration when we know the number of moles and volume of a solution, or we can calculate the volume required if we know the number of moles and concentration of a certain solution.